Hey everyone, The Sims 3 just came out today and I was really excited to pick it up and give it a shot. I've only had a chance to play the first 8 hours of the game, but I'd like to show you what I was able to get accomplished. Now this is my first Sims game, so I just jumped right into it not knowing anything about it and I found myself fully immersed right from the start. The game begins with the creation of your sim or sims. You have the ability to start as a single sim at any age, or you can form a family right away. What's great with the sims is there isn't any predefined story for you to play. You have total freedom to do whatever you want in this completely open sandbox game. And I created several characters all radically different from each other. My first sim was a young man on a quest to become the world's greatest spy. I bought a plot of land and got to build my house from the ground up. Unfortunately, you don't start with much money and I created a pretty big house, so I found myself without any money to furnish it. Oh well, it was beachfront property. As I played for a few minutes, I couldn't resist the urge to restart as two super hot skimpy dressed lesbians. Of course I had to create them, I know, I know, I'm a perv. Anyway, one of them was on a life quest to become a corporate executive, while the other lived a dangerous nightlife as a local thug. One advantage I found going this route was the multiple streams of income significantly helped me purchase the things I needed. Not to mention the thief went on night missions to steal things around town and sell them and make lots of quick cash. The Sims 3 has tons of options to customize your characters. You have plenty of careers you can take on, and if you don't like the route you're taking, it's as simple as choosing a new career from the local newspaper whenever you want. The town is rather large and the entire map is loaded upon starting the game, so you never have to worry about loading screens in the middle of gameplay. The character creation options are ridiculous. There really has to be an infinite number of ways you can customize your sim. I was actually able to create one that looks exactly like me, now that's really cool. Along the same lines, there are equally as many ways that you can customize your sim's home. You can create and expand the walls of your home at any time. If you don't like the paint or wallpaper art provided, simply make your own right inside the game. Now after about 8 hours in, this is what I got my sim's house looking like. I probably wasted half of my time playing simply building and customizing my house. This game is extremely simple to control. As you drag your mouse across the screen it moves the camera for you and clicking the middle mouse button allows you to rotate it. The mouse cursor will change over any object that you can interact with and simply left clicking it will bring up a list of possible interactions. What is really cool is each character will have different interactions possible based on their personal traits, the time of day or even what kind of mood they're in. I had a lot of fun interacting with other sims, especially when I was trying to create a relationship with my couple. After a little fidgeting, I was able to get them to start dating, fall in love, get married, and even get a little nasty. Obviously, since I wanted to recreate my characters right away, you can see how there's going to be tons of replayability in the game. There are just so many options in how you can customize your characters and try out different things and see what's going to happen. I find myself unable to put this game down for hours on end. It's very addicting, so I can see why it's such a hit. The Sims 3 will be a time consumer, and you will certainly get your money's worth out of this title. Medio. So, so.